my siblings and my brothers know him, my siblings know him. And he's always been a well-rounded, put together person, always family oriented. So just portraying that in his clothing and, you know, Miss Miller and the other teachers just made sure that he was he was brought to people as well-rounded and put together because he was also, he embodied that when he was alive. The fabric which borders the portrait is um, a fabric in our culture. It's called kifenge, and it signifies to a lot of people something of like strength and unity. And that fabric played a role because again, he's Congolese and that fabric was actually taken from, it was taken from like a place that was used and still in use. And that was an important piece that I, that was incorporated by the teachers. And also the patterns were also taken from the Kitenge and was incorporated in the background of him. The biggest thing is we really wanted to capture his essence. Mm -hmm. And Patrick was very stylish, but he was also a very, he was very proud of his culture, of his family, of where he came from. And we wanted to celebrate that part of his story because sometimes when we see a tragedy happen, um, it can be dehumanizing and we don't see who they really were, especially if we don't know them. So the kids, some kids like Judith and some of our other Congolese students knew Patrick, but some of our students didn't. So we spent a lot of time speaking with um, different members of the community and then learning about Patrick, seeing what we wanted to do to commemorate him. And I think it was just a really, um, it was really important for them to see that they can use their creativity to showcase something that's an important issue. It felt good that we would bring other people's culture into the art, because mm -hmm. even though it was in my culture that was being brought out, I still felt included, because we, we talk about other people's culture, and yeah, it felt good that we were able to bring lights to different cultures through him. So we have approximately 15 students involved in this, three art teachers, a social worker, two community members, one, uh, both of them were our artists. And then um, uh, Virginia Wiringa is a former art teacher and a right. professional quilter. Um, okay. She is responsible for putting the borders around the artwork. Uh, we didn't have intentions to say, we're gonna do an art prize. I mean, that was just a secondary. Um, also with timing, we're ending June 3rd or 4th or something like that. And we said, hey, the art prize piece, you know, proposals are due next week, let's let's submit it. And then we can get the word out. We can, um, you know, sh the story will go even bigger than what it did in our school community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not like the first generation, but even though like, I was able to be involved in what they knew in their culture, because I didn't know about the traditional quilt, but being able to paint it and having it explained, we had multiple discussions about what was going on and like just the world period. So I feel like my point of view was able to elevate with everything that we talked about. <laughs> it made me deal with a tragedy. It made me confront the tragedy that happened in my community and really see and, you know, be like, I'm not alone. I had a voice because just being one student at a KPS school, you don't really see most people making an impact how we were. So I feel like it helped me show that like my voice is there and that it mattered. I'm really impressed with the ability of collaboration. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not always easy uh, to work with others. And um, this was an opportunity we couldn't pass up, uh, that we could come together and all of our voices were represented, um, you know, it was a struggle and there, with their struggle, there's growth. And it's a message that we all felt very strongly um, working in a community that we do. We felt really strongly about the message was more important actually than the artwork at the final, at the final product. It was, it was working together um, for a common um, message. We um, took it to the African Cultural Festival and I had the pleasure of meeting Patrick's parents. And um, there was a Swahili interpreter there. And um, all of a sudden I was explaining the project and his mother looked away and she just had tears rolling down her face. And she said to him, she said, um, I'm not crying because 
I want you to feel sorry for me. I'm crying because when I look at this, I can see his spirit. I can see his soul in our piece that we did. And that had me crying because that's what we wanted to do. We all really just wanted to capture his essence and capture um, who he was. Art can be something that can be transformative. And I feel like it was a great demonstration that local activism in your own community can really ignite global change.